Okay. Um, hello, friends. It is me again. Um, if you're watching this, that means you've already uh, listened to my read aloud. You've already finished your morning work, and we're moving through the school day, uh, which is awesome. Um, I'm really excited to start math with you guys again, um, but I have kind of some unfortunate news. Um, I did bring my my document camera. Let me show you, just in case you forgot. One second. Okay. So do you guys remember this document camera that I would set up in class, and then I would Chromecast it to the TV, and you guys would be able to watch what I um, was doing. So that was my goal for math. And um, it works, I can plug it into my computer, just the only problem is when that's plugged into the computer, it won't let me record. Um, so I need to figure that out. So today math might be a little funny and same with the rest of the week, uh, but I have some cool little videos that I can show you that can get us through this math lesson and um, hopefully I can figure out my camera by the end of the week. Anyway, um, so I figured this math chapter that we could start, um, it should be pretty simple. Um, we'll actually be able to finish it this week. And um, I thought it would actually be fun for us. Um, it is going to be about money. Um, and I figure that's something that we all have been exposed to, something we all enjoy, something we all wish we had more of, at least I wish I did. Uh, but I want you to, um, we're gonna watch this video that is going to um, kind of explain what our chapter is going to be about. So let's see if this works. Hey, look at me getting technology to work. Okay, anyway, so. Um, our topic, as I said, is going to be counting money. So we're going to go ahead and watch this video, and I get to watch it with you guys. Um, it's very short. So let's see. Farm Sense. Written by Jerry Arthur. Hmm. Illustrated by Robert McClurkin. Sun is so hot. I was jumping all day. I want to buy one small cup. Do I have enough money? I have cents. Ooh. Let's see here. Okay. So it paused. Oh, I'm going to have to play it again. Um, this is just a warm-up, you guys. So this is like a... Um, how do I explain this? Sorry, you guys, I'm like losing my train of thought right now. It's hard for me to see. So um, I haven't gone over this yet. This is just a warm up. This is just to see if we do know what these coins are. Um, so if you look, hopefully you guys can see my cursor. Um, so we have this coin right here, and then luckily these are all the same. Um, I want you guys to go ahead and take a guess. How much money do you think that is? Before I even like tell you what the coins are called or how much they're worth. I'm going to figure out mine too. I think I have an idea, but I might be wrong. Um, okay, I think I know. Do you guys think you know? Any guesses? Okay, let's figure it out. Hmm, of course there's technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. Eleven. Oh, 11? How many of you guys said 11? What? Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what's funny is I'm actually wrong. Uh, see, I told you teachers can be wrong all the time. I did not know that it was 11. How many of you got it, thought it was 11? The ground is so hard. I was standing all day. I want to buy one small cup. Do I have enough money? I have cents. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see. So a small cup is 10 cents and a big cup is 15. And she wants to buy one small cup. So to buy a small cup, we need how much? 10 cents. So do you think she has enough? Thumbs up if you think she has enough. Thumbs down if you think she doesn't. 
I'm going to lean with, I think, I think she might have more than enough. 15. I was right that time. Okay. How many of you thought it was 15? A lot of you did. Figured. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why is this so hard to click? I am so tired. I was laying eggs all day. I want to buy one big cup. Do I have enough money? I have cents. Okay, so a big cup costs 15 cents. With those coins, do you think she has enough? Shall we find out? I apologize, you guys, if these are kind of hard to see. And um, as I said, don't beat yourselves up um, if you don't know it because this is the beginning of a chapter and we're going to learn it. There we go. 15. How many of you said 15? Okay. I am so thirsty. I was running all day. I want to buy two small cups. Do I have enough money? I have. Cents. Oh, snap. Okay, so two small cups. So one small cup costs 10 cents. So that's one small cup cost 10 cents. So how many would two small cups be? 10 plus 10 is... Did I hear a 20 out there? I heard a 20. Is that you, Kevin? Probably. Anyway, okay. So he needs 20 cents. And now let's see how much he has in here. Do you guys think he has enough? Do you think he has 20 cents or more? Let's find out. 21. Ooh, just enough. 21 cents. Um, so before we move on to the next video, um, how do you guys feel so far about counting money? Um, we're kind of lucky that we live in a day where like your parents might have like a credit card or um, a debit card, or maybe they even use like Apple Pay on their phones um, or their watches. Like we just live in a really technical world. Um, but I just wanted to go over a few things with you really quick before we move on to the next one. So one of our first coins is this bad boy right here. Mine's kind of dirty. Um, does anyone know what this is called? A penny. Um, a penny is worth one cent, one cent. Um, and the cool thing about pennies is that they're this like copper color. It's made out of a material called copper or it's like an orangish brownish color. Um, it's the only coin that is this color, so pennies are really easy to remember. Um, and when you find your homework later, um, the homework assignment is in black and white, but the penny will be like the darkest coin because it's trying to make it colored, if that makes sense. So how much is a penny worth? So then our next coin is a nickel. Can everyone say nickel? Um, does anyone have any idea what a nickel is worth? This is a nickel, by the way. Nickel is worth five cents, five cents. Um, this is where it gets a little tricky, um, because these are really easy to tell apart, a penny and a nickel, right? Obviously, this one's copper, this one's silver. If you're just going by colors, you could think to yourself, oh yeah, a penny, one cent, it's, it's copper colored. Um, it gets a little trickier because the rest of the coins I'm going to show you, they're all this silver color. Um, but if we pay attention to their shape, um, then you'll be able to tell uh, how much um, they are worth. So once again, a nickel is worth how many cents? Okay, so our next coin is a dime. Um, and already, can you tell the difference here? One's really, really tiny, right? So this is a dime. A dime is worth, does anyone know how much a dime is worth? 
10 cents, 10. So we have five and 10. So if a dime is worth 10 cents, how many nickels would you need to equal this? If this is worth five. Two, right? Because five plus five is equal to 10. Um, the dime is also another easy one to remember because it's so small. It's actually the smallest coin. Um, it's even smaller than a penny. So if you can remember dimes, they're worth 10 cents, they're the smallest coin. So, so far we have a penny, which is worth one cent. We have a dime, or a dime, which is worth 10 cents. We have the nickel, it's five cents. Um, so our next coin is a quarter. Uh, does anyone know how much a quarter is worth? 25 cents. Yeah, 25 cents. Um, we use quarters a lot. Uh, at least I do. Um, especially, I don't know if you guys have ever been to downtown Sacramento, but you can, uh, when you need to park your car, sometimes your parents have to insert quarters into the machine. So we use quarters a lot. Or like vending machines. Do you ever buy a snack? A lot of people use quarters. Or those cool little like toy machines where you like stick a quarter in it and then it gives you like a ball or like a cool sticker or something. I don't know if they still have those, but when I was a kid they did. And then um, this is one that we don't see too often, but in your homework it's going to show up, but it is called a half dollar. This one's really cool. They're really rare too. I don't, I don't see many people use them nowadays. Look how big it is, like next to the quarter. It's huge. Um, so a half dollar is 50 cents. 50 cents. Um, fun fact, does anybody know how many quarters it takes to make a dollar? Four. Four quarters equals a dollar. Um, there's actually a hundred cents total in a dollar. Um, so how many pennies would you need? If there's a hundred cents in one dollar and a penny is worth one cent, how many pennies would you need to get you a dollar? A hundred, right? A dollar is a hundred cents. Penny's only worth one. Y'all need a hundred of these guys. Um, I'm sorry if I rushed through that. I wish I could show you guys all the coins at the same time. Um, but I would like to, I'm hoping that this is kind of a review. Um, because I know you guys, we've played with like the money and the coins and stuff in my classroom. So I'm sure you guys already know this. Um, but just a quick review again. Penny is the copper colored one. It is worth how much? One cent. And then we have the nickel. Nickel's worth five cents. We have our dime worth 10 cents. We have our quarter, which is worth 25, and then our big old half dollar, which is worth 50 cents. Um, so now we're gonna watch our next video. Let's exit this. So we are on lesson one, coins. Oh, good, this video is a lot bigger. Let's see here. The focus standard for this lesson is 2MDC8. Solve word problems involving dollar bills, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies using dollar and cent symbols appropriately. In problem-based interactive learning, students identify the value of pennies, nickels, and dimes by modeling and adding coins together to find the total amount. Some students may organize the coins based on size and confuse the value of nickels and dimes, mm -hmm. leading to an incorrect total that. value of 28. These students may also forget to include the word or the symbol for cents. Look and listen for students who think the value of a nickel is greater than the value of a dime based on its size. Um, I wanted to show you guys this just because he said it too. Um, do not let size fool you. So I told you we have a dime here, right? And we have a nickel. Here, I'm going to stop sharing so you guys can see. We have a dime and a nickel. Now, like our, the way our brains work, we would think the bigger the coin, the more it's worth, right? But not in this case. We need to remember that a nickel 
um, is only five cents, a dime is 10. And for whatever reason, someone decided to make the dime the smallest coin, even though it's worth a lot of cents, okay? So I just, I just wanted to repeat myself with that, um, just because I, when I was a kid, I used to get really um, used about that. Um, anyway, let's go back to our video. Um, let me share again. Thank you for being patient, by the way, you guys. It's kind of hard for me to flip back and forth. This is a penny. A penny is worth one cent. This is a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. This is a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. This is a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. This is a half dollar. A half dollar is worth 50 cents. What coins are shown? Okay. So now this is like the millionth time you're hearing this because I already went over this. Okay. So we should all know this one, the copper colored one. Um, what do we call that? A penny. And how much are pennies worth? One cent, right? Um, how about this big bad boy over here? That's the biggest coin we have. We call that a half, half dollar, right? Half dollar. And how much is a half dollar worth? 50 cents. Good job. Um, how about the smallest coin? This guy right here. Remember, I just told you not to get confused by its size. That is our good old friend, the dime. And the dime is worth how much? 10 cents. We have our friend, the Nick. Oh, I almost told you. What is that? What is that called? A nickel. Um, and even though it's a little bit bigger than our dime, it's actually worth less. And that's worth how much? Five cents. And then this one right here should be the one that we are the most familiar with. This guy right here. We use them a lot more than the other coins. That is our friend, the quarter. How much is that worth? 25 cents. Good job. There is one half dollar, one quarter, one dime, one nickel, and one penny. Yeah. What is the total amount shown by these Ooh, coins? We're going to need some scratch paper here. Okay. I'm going to try to write this out for you guys. So remind me, um, let's start with the biggest number. Um, so how much is that half, this guy right here, the half dollar worth? 50 cents, right? And then how much is the quarter worth? 25. So I'm just, I don't know about you, I like to add them like one at a time. So we're gonna start with this, 50 cents plus 25 cents. Let's see if you guys could do that. And I don't know about you, I got 75 cents because five plus zero is five, and then five plus two is seven, 75 cents. But we're not done. So we got rid of the half dollar and the quarter. Um, how about let's add the dime next. The dime is worth how much? 10 cents. We have our 75 cents, so now I'm gonna add 10 more. That's our dime. Five plus zero is what? Five. And seven plus one is? Eight. So now we're at 85 cents. So we still need to add the nickel and the penny. Um, so how much is a nickel worth? We don't even need our paper for this. How much is a nickel worth? Five cents, right? So I'm at 85 cents. So 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So we're at 90 cents now, and I just need to add my penny. What's 90 plus one? 90 plus 
Let's see if we got this right, you guys. Count on to find the total amount of these coins. Yes, that's what we did. How many of you got 91? Because I got 91. Woo! Okay, sorry. I, I'm probably more excited than you guys. Woo! The total amount is 91 cents. The cent sign is... Yeah, and that's one more thing I wanted to go over. So we have our penny, we have our dime, we had a, oh, we had our penny, our nickel, our dime, our quarter, and our half dollar. So I'm just listing my amounts right here, okay? As you can see, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and um, half dollar. So right now, this is just a number. If you were to write that on your paper, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about 50 chicken nuggets? You're talking about one unicorn? You're talking about 10 gummy worms, 25 talkies? Like, I don't know, right? I don't know, because it's just a number. So when you're talking about cents or money, this is how we show the cent sign. It's a C with a line through it. Really easy for you guys to draw. Um, because this is actually how we spell cents when we're talking about coins. So we shorten it. It's C-E-N-T-S. We shorten it with a C. And make sure you always put it after the cents, okay? I feel like that's pretty, pretty simple, right? Okay, so now I want to show you um, that's your homework. I wanted to do this with you guys. So I have this paper. You actually have it in your, um, well, you have your homework in your packet. Um, we're just going to kind of do this together, um, the best we can without having it in front of us. I can actually, I have it with me and you guys can help me fill it out. How about that? And I'll show you. Um, so we're going to start with that first box shows us it's a quarter and how much is a quarter worth? Quarter worth 25 cents, right? And so we would write it with that little C with the line, line through it. So it's telling us we're going to start with 25 cents and we're going to count by fives because we have our quarter right here, 25 cents, but then it's adding two to what? What's worth five cents? Two nickels, right? Two nickels. So we have 25 cents, 25, 30, what comes after that? 35. Oh, and I didn't realize it's written there for you. Make sense so far? It's, you guys, this is like stuff you do all the time. You know how to count by fives, tens, ones, things like that. We're just, giving that number a meaning now. Now it has a purpose because we're talking about money. It's not just some random number, it's actually important. So this one, it shows us the half dollar. Half dollar is worth 50 cents. So we're gonna start with our half dollar here and it wants us to count on by tens because we're adding what? What's worth 10 cents? Dimes. So 50, 10 more would be 60, 10 more would be 70. What if I added one more dime? 80, two more dimes, 90, you guys get it. Okay, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna do these two together really quick. Um, so count on to find the total amount. So we're gonna start with 25 cents. Um, so that's our first one right here, okay? And then it says count on by tens. One, two, three, four. So we have four tens right there, but what coin is worth 10 cents? A dime. So if we start with 25, and we have 25, so 35 would be 10 more. 10 more would be 45. 10 more would be 55. You guys see what I'm doing there? And 10 more would be 65. So our total amount is how many cents? 65 cents. 
and I didn't forget my set sign. Okay, so for number two, we're starting with 50 cents. And that's our half dollar, right? So this is gonna be a little, little more confusing. So it says count on by tens and ones. So we need to really pay attention here. Um, I'm gonna label them. So the first two, those are dimes. And the second two, those are the copper colored ones. What do we call that? A penny, right? So I went ahead and labeled what each of those are worth. Cause I don't know about you, but I get confused. So we're starting with 50. So what's 50 plus 10? 60, right? So I'm gonna write my 60 cents. So not long, we're just doing this one step at a time. So what's 60 plus 10? 70, right? Cool. Now we're at 70, so what's 70 plus one? 71. And then what's 71 plus one? 72. So our total is 72 cents. Yeah. Cool. Um, so for our last one, I challenge you right now. Um, there's a hand, you don't need to worry about the hand, but if you have a blank piece of paper, um, you're gonna draw coins that equal 40 cents. And there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Um, a penny is worth one cent. Please don't draw 40 pennies. You guys can do, do a little easier than that because that's gonna take you a lot of time. Um, but you can do it a variety of different ways. Um, so I'm gonna challenge you to come up, maybe I challenge you to come up with as many different ways you can come up with the number 40. Um, you could use quarters, you could use dimes, nickels, mixture of pennies, things like that. You guys got this. Um, but while you're here, I wanted to show you um, an activity. Um, I put this, sorry, I'm like looking at the wrong paper. I put this in your, I have it here. Put it in your work, work packet. Um, I figure this is something fun you guys could do. Um, if you have real coins, then you can use real coins, um, but there's these different piggy banks and you're gonna need a partner. If you don't have a partner, you could totally do it by yourself. Um, but each piggy bank has a different amount. Um, so you are going to mark down here, like for instance, number one, it says one quarter and two dimes. So you're gonna find one quarter and cross it off and then you'll find two dimes and you'll cross it off. Um, but then you need to come up with how much that is. So if we have a quarter, that's how much 25 cents. So what's 25 plus 10? 35. And that's what's what's 35 plus 10 more? 45. So in that first piggy bank, one quarter and two dimes, we'd have 45 cents. So I already told you one. Um, so I challenge you to kind of play around and you can figure out the rest. Um, it'd be more fun if you had real coins. I don't know if your parents have any around the house. If not, there's pictures down here. Um, if you have a printer, you could even print it out and cut out the shapes, that's up to you. Um, and then your homework is this right here. It's only four questions for tonight. Um, it's exactly what we just did. You can rewatch these videos if you need to, but you guys are pros with money, trust me. I've been your teacher since August and I know the things you can do. So I have no fear at all that you'll do just fine. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing. Um, but yeah, uh, forgive me, our math lessons will get a little more fun and I will figure out ways to make my document camera work. Um, but. Um, I want you to stop this video and then kind of get up, stretch a little. If you need to go get a snack, get some water, take a break, that's okay. Um, this video is kind of long, um, but when you're ready, um, 
we will be moving on to our next video where we'll, we will be reading a short story together and then we're going to do some writing practice. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Love you guys.